Hello, hello, hello everyone, and welcome Among Thieves. I'm gonna start a new game. New game. This one's also not going to be edited because I need to get the uh, the other one. Which will be edited. edited. I did not tell half of what I saw. For what I knew, I would not be believed. Marco Polo on his deathbed. 1324. <sighs> What's going on? my blood. That's my blood. It's a lot of my blood. Is in fact an alien from Pluto. A rock in a heart. Very rocky. In a hard place. Just gotta climb up here. Is this gonna break? Oh no, it didn't. I'm disappointed. <laughs> oh. I think this one's gonna break though. <laughs> yeah. This one breaks. Gotta keep climbing the train. And how in GTA San Andreas it was. You gotta chase the train. But now it's climbing the train in a Uncharted 2. on purpose for a comedic effect. Oh! 
this was the story of Nathan Drake and how he died. Buy me a drink, sailor. British man. Harry Flynn? Hey! Spoilers. What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. Adam, listening. Now, you're not gonna like this. Oh, no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out. No, no. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. One who and now he's on mine. Yeah, barely. Can't do this without you, Drake. Acting. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone. Stay it's a two-person job. Stay no, no, no. Three, actually. Right. Let's speak of the devil. Here she comes now. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe is one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. I bet. Right, look. I've got it all fixed. Graphics on this game are still going through the suit. I'm loving it this so was far. Made in that puts us in the courtyard. From there, Batman we scale Arkham up the wall, was also run across the rooftop, and now he's off on the game. Either his Bob's your uncle. Power and what was internet is worth going all this trouble? I hear you ask. Off. I didn't, but go ahead. I don't know what's going on with Aki Lady, but something's going on. That's it. I, I, did An you oil. know I met Aki Lady in PlayStation yeah. Home? <laughs> it's worthless. I met all my friend, friends on PSN in down. PlayStation Home. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? I'm looking at the capture you get this? thing over here. Borrowed it from the <laughs> files looks, uh, of the nutcase. <laughs> Less vibrant than the it does. Trebizond we were set upon by thieves. Over here. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. So this was written like by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able for. to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the Lost Fleet. Yeah. This guy can read and speak in know, every someone single fill me in. language. Marco Polo leaves China. And with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded hold. down with treasure from Kublai Khan. In his stomach. And he lands in Persia still, a year and a half later. I, the, 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 all, all the evidence right only 18 there. Passengers. Him being superhuman or you know, an alien is there. Every detail of his journey, but he never all told what happened to Each, all those ships every and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there are 13 ships loaded with the Empress treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate, fate of the, of the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something that pinpoints the site of the lost fleet. You don't know what so, he hid in there? Spoilers, it was some, right? Damn straight some stuff that made fire blue. You in then? That. What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> it's Bubsy. Bubsy 3D. What could possibly go wrong? situation he's in right now. I don't want to get he jump. Nope, he could he could climb all that but he he can't jump now. Now he's uh slowly slowly turning into a human with uh human abilities. Epic Epic Moon. 